Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, myself, Dr. Sahil Thakral, academic chair, Department of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology, All India Institute of Medical Science, Jodhpur. Uh, today, I am presenting a case report with the title "Fabricated History Conveyed by the Victim to the Forensic Clinical Practitioner." Uh, there was a there was a case. Uh, there was a case uh, come to the AIMS emergency, a 29-year-old male with the alleged history of physical assault with a lati and a firearm weapon. The history was given by the, his father and himself that his cousin brother shot one bullet at his, at his left leg and the two bullets at his, his right leg and uh, was then after beaten by a road. On examination, the patient was conscious and oriented. The blood pressure was the 80 by 60 and the pulse rate was the 130 per minute. Then the SPO2 was the 99% on room air. Uh, there were uh, found uh, total seven injuries, the four laceration, two swellings, and the one multiple laceration. Let's discuss the injury one by one. There were injury number one, there was a laceration surrounded by the uh, reddish abrasion of size one into one centimeter muscle deep and the abrasion over an area uh, eight into five centimeter present over the back of the lower one third of the right arm. The age of the injury was the fresh because the blood is oozing out from the wound and the weapon used was the blunt. And on the uh, second picture was the X-ray corresponding to the injury number one. The X-ray shows there was a no fracture line no fracture seen in this x-ray. So the injury number one was a simple in nature. Uh, the injury number two, I didn't have the uh, photo of the uh, injury number two. That was a swelling of size eight into four centimeter present over the upper one third of the left forearm. The age of the injury was the fresh. When I examined, the swelling was warm on touch. The weapon was used was a blunt. Uh, the, I, Injury of picture number three was the X-ray corresponding to the injury number two, which showed the communicated displaced fracture of the shaft of the left ulna scene. So the injury number two is a grievous in nature. The picture four, there was also uh, another swelling of the size five into three centimeter present over the left wrist. The age of the injury, the age of the injury was fresh. The weapon used it. Uh, blunt, the in x-ray shows the displaced fracture of the shaft of the metacarpal of the left index finger and the right ring finger. So injury number three is a grievous in nature. Now come to the injury number four. There was a laceration of size three into 1.5 centimeter muscle deep present over the front of the middle, one third of the left leg. The age of the injury was the fresh. Uh, the blood is oozing out from the wound as we see. The margin of the uh, laceration was the irregular the, and there was no singeing, no tattooing, no black wing present around the wound. So the weapon was used was blunt. The X-ray uh, corresponding to injury number four shows there was a no fracture. So the injury number four was uh, simple in nature. Okay, now come to the injury number, uh, next injury is the injury number five. There was a laceration of size two into one centimeter muscle deep present over the front of the upper one third of the right leg and the Injury number six was a laceration of size two into one centimeter muscle D present over the front of the lower one third of the right leg. And there was injury number seven. There were three parallel lacerations of one is the two into 0 0.5 centimeter subcutaneous deep. And the second was a 2.5 into 0 0.5 into subcutaneous deep. And the third was three into 0 0.5 centimeter subcutaneous deep present over the front of the middle one third of the right leg. These are the X-ray corresponding to the injury number five, six and seven. We show the, in this x-ray, we didn't find, uh, see any fracture. The age of it, these injuries are the fresh, the blood is oozing out from the wound and the margins of these lacerations are the irregular. Uh, there was no singeing and no tattooing, no blackening is present. And uh, I, we didn't find any uh, exit wound also there. So the weapon is used is a blunt, but on CT images, On CT images, we can uh, see that there was a fracture of uh, patella. Uh, these, uh, the first picture show the arrow shows the linear undisplaced fracture of the patella, which was co corresponding to the injury number five. And the picture two uh, second of the CT uh, showing that the complex fracture of the head of the proximal phalanx of the greater toe and the uh, fifth metatarsal. So the injury number five and six are grievous in nature. On, on the per
uh, on the personal of the city report we found the two uh, new injuries uh, we, uh, the one was the comminuted fracture uh, of the left patella uh, which uh, i consider as a injury number 8 and which is also grievous in nature and there was another injury Uh, the uh, shows that a linear undisplaced fracture of the left fibular notch and the medial medullus of the left tibia uh, there was a basic thumb rule how we identified the fracture over the ct images we can compare the both the side in in that uh, there was a cross section uh, cross section area of the fibula and uh, tibia uh, the uh, left side shows there was a fracture the arrow shows the fracture of fibular notch and the medial medullus of the left tibia now come to the discussion uh, is any of the wound was uh, caused by the projectile injury uh, by the examination of the external feature of the wound and there was no singeing no tattooing no blackening is present on the radiological examination no wound track is found and the no foreign particle are present so on the basis of that none of the injuries are suggestive of firearm uh, injury as being claimed by the victim so uh, second point uh, is any of the wound fab uh, are fabricated wound or the self inflicted wound by reviewing the literature on the self inflicted wound and the fabricated wound uh, that means the wound is inflicted by his own or produced by the another person with his consent on the accessible body part to bring the false charge against the enemies or the self on the self defense against uh, some crimes usually the self inflicted wounds are the superficial superficially wounds are present it is very rare to inflict so many injuries on his own body so as per my opinion none of the injury was uh, self inflicted wound uh, is uh, the third point was the, is any of the injury was the defense wound by reviewing the literature on the defense wound or the protective wound that the wound produced on the victim in the immediate ward of the attack or to seize the weapon for the self protection so, so i am uh, opinion that the injury number 1 2 or 3 may be of the defense wound uh, the fourth point was can we add the in new injury in the final opinion uh, yes there was there is no harm in adding a new injury uh, whenever it comes to a knowledge usually usually such injury uh, are the one that not visible during the clinical examination like in this case undisplaced fracture Uh, or the foreign body lodgement, uh, or or if a um, forensic clinic clinical practitioner forget to document any injury or realize later on can issue a corrigendum regarding the injury well within a stipulated time to the respective authority. The last point was the what type of weapon is used. So, as per uh, examination on on the given dimension and the margins and the external features of the wound, the injury may be caused by a pointed weapon, or maybe by the uh, blunt weapon, or maybe the, the composite weapon in which that one is pointed or the other end is other one is the blunt. As the depth is a greater dimension in the some injuries, so uh, the final opinion. is that injury number 1 2 and 7 1 4 and 7 are simple in nature and the injury number 2 3 and 5 6 5 6 are the grievous in nature uh, as, however as per clinical record there was a two new injuries we, uh, which i discuss already uh, that was marked as injury number 8 which is grievous in nature and the injury number 9 which is also grievous in nature so the inj injuries are fresh in duration produced by the blunt force so the come and now come to the conclusion that such that uh, such cases should be examined with uh, with a high degree of suspicion characteristic of the injuries and correlation by the expert play and superior role over the history provided the clinical forensic medicine medicine practitioner should not rely completely on the history and always be vigilant and the bank more on their scientific acumen while dealing this with such a cases so the so i'm uh, so the history given by the victim does not match with the external feature of the injury and the no foreign body is present inside the victim body on the radiological examination and the no exit wound is found on the
fabricated history to the forensic clinical practitioner. Uh, these are the references I used in, for uh, this case report. Thank you, and a special thanks to the Department of uh, Radio Diagnostic, uh, All India Institute of Medical Science, uh, Ames Jodhpur. Thank you.